What's going on here, guys? Yeah, yeah we're just going to have fun to show you a little yeah. bit what Yes, uh -huh. I'm excited. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah. I'm so excited. We've never had a basketball court outdoor in this area of Watts. So impressed. Yeah. This is so fantastic. Years and years ago, uh, they had some stuff over here, but we were like, let's put it on the backside so with drive-bys and so forth at nighttime, yeah. that they're protected by the building, it's not yeah. a target, and yeah. it's like, but let's do it actually proper. So it's honestly a full basketball court. Stop. They're doing um, the rebar and everything that yep. goes down, and yep. then the cement, and then we'll come in and paint lines and put the hoops up. They've been working around the clock. So. Amazing. I've reached out to a few companies asking for help with the kitchen renovation and the gym renovation, the basketball court. A lot of people have already chipped in and donated. For Adidas, our belief is that through sport, we have the power to change lives, and we feel like creating safe places to play for kids is life-changing. Adidas has been amazing because they've agreed to do the entire outdoor play area and other companies are doing the inside. I'm so impressed. Yeah. Getting the concrete poured for the future basketball court is my dream come true for them. Who owns these buildings? It's government subsidized housing. So it's a housing authority of Los Angeles. Uh, so yeah, it's like the second largest in all of America, New York and then here. I'm really excited about all the progress that's being made and I'm so optimistic that this is going to make the community a better place. Bruno Marquesi. Nice to see you. Very nice thank to meet you. Thank you so much for being a part of this. No, thank you. It's so amazing. It's about giving kids safe places to play right? and the opportunities to be successful. That's what it's about. Kids, they honestly think they're born and are going to die here. We had one person uh, that was shot and killed uh, one block away uh, two weeks ago. And then last week, uh, Maybe 12 blocks away, there was two people shot and killed, and six, uh, no, six shot, two killed. Some of our kids in our community, either they father in prison or deceased. I lost two kids in 60 days. That's how I met Justin. This is a dream. Whatever we wanted, you did it. And I just want to say thank you for everything and working hard with Yang and his staff and with Red Eye. We're so proud to be a part of this. So thank you for allowing us to be a part of your family. All the things that are happening are going to be really terrific for the kids. The ability to come someplace and have a really safe environment with really loving people can make a big difference in a community that's otherwise going to be left behind. Oh, <laughs>